We're going to MacGyver this RxJS thing. We're going to look at the key APIs in Angular that use RxJS and see, you know, sort of learn RxJS by way of uh, Angular. So uh, there are four major APIs in Angular that use RxJS. So you notice, though, the key thing to notice here is that we are no longer subscribing to GetFilms. Now we're just taking that observable and chucking it into the template, actually. We're binding to this films dollar, and we're letting the films dollar pass through the async pipe. So the async pipe is going to do what we did manually. It's going to subscribe. And I don't have to shove anything into the temporary variable anymore. Yeah, that's this right. is so much cleaner. It is cleaner. We've yeah. learned that HTTP client is an API that is observable. We learned to subscribe to execute. We've learned about piping operators. We've learned that map will help you transform one value or a bag of something into the, what it is that you actually want. I, I, By using the Reactive Forms module, we get to do this. We get to do, put this attribute, this directive on there called form control. And basically we say that this input box is under the form control of something called search term. One of the cool things about search term, the form, the control, is that it has a value changes property. And yes, you folks out there guessed it, that is an observable. Whoa, come back. We want to teach them about an easy error to make. And this is why we're gonna to go to another example called error isolation. Why did it die? Because there's a rule. There's an R in RxJS there are a few rules, and one of the rules is if an error occurs, the stream, the upstream is dead. We're isolating it here. When this thing, when this observable dies, it dies in an isolation sandbox where nobody can see it. See, so when logic. Yeah, logic. And it out of it comes a good value. So the switch map uh, never saw the bad value. And therefore, the it's film continue. IDs never saw the bad. Nobody ever saw a bad value. Nobody ever saw it go wrong. It keeps on rolling. What, so what we want to show you is that it's as easy as get the router, listen to its events, subscribe, and here we're just logging it. We're going to look at take until. When you need an observable that you can stuff things into, you probably want a subject. And take until is kind of kind of fun. The way it works is, like every operator, it, sees an, it has an observable in and an observable out. So this pattern, this take until pattern, is the recommended way to, dis, if your component must subscribe, and it has to subscribe to something that is going to live for a long time, follow these one, two, threes of the take until, and you'll be sure that you, to unsubscribe properly when the component dies. So one of the nice things about async pipe when we throw the observable up into the template and say async pipe, you handle it, is yes, it subscribes, mm -hmm. but it also automatically unsubscribes when the component is destroyed. All right, so now I've got three sources of movies. I've got the ones I'm typing, the ones that came from local storage, and the ones that came from the cloud. And I want to meld those all together. How am I going to do that in using observables? You are going to compose them. We are going to compose them. Let's, let's do that, shall we? And what Combine Latest says is, that's great. I got these three things coming in. If, yeah, and I'm going to take the latest value of all three. And the RxJS love boat has left the building. Thank you very much. <laughs>